The railway carriage is lowered into the water on a submerged track. The boat floats onto the car and is cradled by slings. The carriage is pulled out of the water and the boat settles into the slings for support. The carriage is hoisted up the slope by wire ropes attached to a winch. The carriage stays level due to a unique double track with the front wheel on one track and the back wheel on another. Once past the summit, the carriage is lowered into the water by wire ropes. The boat floats off the slings and motors off the carriage. These boats over on the left are waiting their turn to get lifted up and over the chute. Captain's getting ready. Okay, they're on their way up and over the chute. What this uh, enables the uh, boating to do is to avoid the big chute, which is over to my left and I'll film in a minute. The uh, sluices are closed, so it's not showing a lot of uh, water activity, but when it's open, it's just uh, amazing. Here are the uh, three uh, pleasure boats reaching the other side above the big chute. There he goes. And this is uh, the big chute with the uh, sluice gates uh, closed. We hear a little water going through, but that's what the uh, boats on the Marine Railway are uh, trying to avoid these cataracts going from one part of the waterway system to the other. Amazing. Well, you can see through there what the chute is like right now. Just a little trickle of water going through. So they drive on under their own power. And then when they get on there, the, the operators that are riding on those catwalks, they will assist the boats in uh, being placed uh, uh, on the carriage. You see those yellow slings? It goes from side to side, the boats generally rest, uh, like that boat there, they'll rest the bow of the boat on the deck of the carriage and then they'll put the back end of the boat up in the 